out of Afghanistan, would that lessen or increase the chance that the homeland of the United States might be attacked by terrorists? Do you think that Al-Qaeda wants to attack us, attack us because we have troops in Afghanistan, or do they just simply want to attack us in any way? Um, let me begin with David, and then we'll go to Tom, and then Chris, and then Joe. And that will be the last question I have. And then we'll go to Tom. Well, they told us last time that they attacked us because of where we had troops. Um, so you, you would think that the similar reasoning would still apply, but I haven't been hanging out with them. So um, I, I, I think that this idea of, of figuring out how to frustrate attacks on the United States while encouraging them, while making the world angry at us, is just unwinnable. Um, you know, they... They want, the Afghans want order and stability and they want all of these things and they want to end the warlords and so forth. But we obviously cannot give them that. Um, and in trying to give them that, you know, never mind that it's only in the places where, where we want bases and we want oil pipelines. That we <laughs> You know, aside from that, assuming good intentions, uh, all facts aside, uh, <laughs> it, it's not working. It can't work. It enrages more people. Every drone strike, even if it theoretically assassinates the right person, assassinates so many wrong persons that you have more people angry at you after than before. It's, it's absolutely unwinnable. But this idea of, oh, well, we keep bombing people or we pull out, gets it wrong. No, we don't abandon them. We aid them in developing a society that has thousands of deaths around the world from heroin. Those two have to be added to the list of our accomplishments in Afghanistan. We have to build a society in which they can, can make a living growing something other than drugs. Uh, and that the military cannot do that. But we can with much less money. And it's not it's not abandonment. Um, David? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, it's often said if we pull out Afghanistan, the Taliban really are not interested in the United States. That's absolutely true, but the Taliban weren't interested in the United States when Al-Qaeda attacked us in 9-11. Al-Qaeda was. And I can tell you, there's, if we pull out and, and the Taliban come back, um, Al-Qaeda will be invited back to Afghanistan. It will not be the Taliban's policy to attack the United States. The Taliban actually paid the biggest price. We pushed them out of power for 9-11. They had their Arab friends to thank for that. But don't underestimate Al-Qaeda's desire to attack the United States. They mean what they say. And one of our problems is what do we do about such an, such an ideological movement? But what I would say is that one of the things that will, will not end it is that we pull out of Afghanistan, Al-Qaeda will declare a victory and say, it only shows we need to make more attacks. So, you know, I also, you know, would say that if we could reconstruct Afghanistan without any military at all, we should have succeeded in the past uh, eight years because we didn't have any military there. The fact is, it wasn't reconstructed. And now it's almost impossible to do it without bringing a war to an end. So one of the things I would be careful of is the belief that just because Afghanistan doesn't have any interest in the United States, never did in terms of attacking some terrorists. They have friends that do, and those friends manipulate in the past. They'll manipulate in the future. Thank you, Tom. Uh, Chris Alma. I'm going to take off my MPP hat and, and not talk about budgets and just lay one thing out there. It's the thing about Afghanistan that keeps me awake at night, and that is that, in my mind, Afghanistan and Pakistan, for whatever reasons, have become inextricably linked. And what scares me more than I care to think about is the idea of an unstable nation that possesses a, a nuclear arsenal, particularly in a region of the world where uh, its neighbors find that whole idea to be a, 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 a very great concern to them. So my, my real concern is how do we return stability to that region of the world? Thank you, Chris. Go with us. 
think uh, the uh, whole idea of national security is something that's always interested me. I, I've often asked my students, what does exactly national security mean? Does national security mean uh, the life of any American or his property? Or does it mean a danger to our society and our form of government? Uh, and I think there's a, a lot of confusion in exactly what that national security means. I think uh, to, uh, to fight uh, Al-Qaeda, which is directed against the United States, I think that's what covert action was made for. I think you can use covert action in these areas, and you can fight them effectively in these areas for you know one one millionth of what you're paying uh, uh, now. Uh, is, is, there, is there a total solution? No. There's not a total solution to terrorism. And we are not going to change necessarily American policy in order to satisfy Al-Qaeda. Joe, before you sit down, I'm going to take the liberty of asking one more question real quickly. We'll go.